Okay, back again. Thank you for clicking onto part two. So I've just, in part one, I'd done all the eye makeup and I was just going over around the lash with um, an eyeshadow pencil. This one's the brown one. And you just want to frame the eyes with the darker shades because it'll accentuate the colours that you've used. And then with a pencil, I've got the Body Shop Carbon Black pencil. I just want to go over everywhere that I went with the brown because I want it to be strong. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Now what you can do if you, you want your eyeliner to really pop and you want to really frame those eyes is I've applied pencil all around but it's also really good. Where your lashes are and where your eyeliner sits, there's sometimes a little gap in between. If you put a bit of liquid liner just there, that will um, sort of colour in the gap. We're not going for a liquid liner, a really sleek liquid liner look with this. Um, so I don't want it to flick or anything like that. Just want to just colour in where the lashes and the eyeliner meet so that there's no gaps. But you won't be able to tell that you've got liquid liner on because we're not going for that look. Okay, okay. And the way to finish is with mascara so the one that I'm using at the moment I'm not really enjoying using it's the great big lash and it's the Maybelline one I have not found my lashes to be great or big they're just a little bit black so I'm, I've only just recently bought this and I don't really like it that much I have just bought two new ones the Scandalize Extreme and the Big Curler, sorry, Super Curler. Um, I have used the, the Super Curler once and it really was nice. It really did Super Curl my lashes. So as I've not used the Scandalize, I'll use that today and, and get a feel for how I, how I think that looks. Okay, so this is a straight brush. It's got a curve at the top. Um, so I always go in with the flat, the flat side. So with your lashes, always do your bottom lashes first because if you do your top lashes and then you look up, you'll just wet the whole top. So go in for the bottom lashes and I tend to go side to side. Don't we all just pull silly mascara faces? Yeah, that's really coated my bottom lashes nicely quite like that and then I'll go and do my top lashes don't ever use uh, if you've got any styes or you ever get conjunctivitis or anything like that just chuck your mascara away because you'll cross contaminate don't ever share your mascara wand as well I know it's really tempting if you go over to your mate's house and you're wanting to play around with makeup and share each other's makeup just stay away from sharing mascara because it's just not very hygienic. Yeah, I quite like that. That's rather nice mascara. Um, you can if you want to. Some people like to dry the coats in between to, to get them thicker and longer. I don't bother doing that. But if you want to have a little fan near you to be drying your lashes in between, it's a little tip just there. Um, but I tend to find, just going back over, like that they've dried enough in the time it's taken you to to do the other lashes okay so that's my eyes done and I've done them just using my fingers for the um, for the whole of the eyeshadow 
and I've used some pencils and mascara but that's that's the look it's really quick and easy I probably do it with a little bit more accuracy but even faster when I'm doing it myself um, you can play around with so many different colours, you can intensify the smoky eye more so than what I have done today, um, you can do it more natural, but you know, you can use your fingers, you don't necessarily have to have all the, all the brushes with the, the bells and whistles. I do use brushes, um, so don't, don't think that I don't. I like Eco Tools brushes. I've got probably every brush that they make. I also like Bare Essentials brushes. Body Shop brushes. I have one or two from MAC, but not very many. Um, so, you know, I do like brushes, don't, don't get me wrong. And if I'm ever doing a customer's makeup, I will use my brushes. Because um, it's not very easy to do somebody's makeup using your fingers. But but there's some, some tips for you. If you've got any, any questions, just, you know, leave me a message below and, you know, I'll get back to you. Thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to bringing you more videos in the future. Bye!